Good morning, folks. The sun is calm. For days, we closely monitored a million kilometer plasma filament, but it is now departing the Earth facing side of the sun. Coming in just behind it, however, are two fairly long filaments in their own right. They face Earth today. Speaking of filaments, top left, those solar tornadoes threw a hissy fit as they caught a glimpse of Earth in their peripherals, from dancing to wanting to go home, just like that. In the gamma spectrum, we've had two bursts in the last two days, one from Draco and the other one from Lyra. Cosmic ray density is elevated as well with muons at the 101 line here. In the X-ray spectrum, our star is very calm, as I said, no solar flares, and the sunspots aren't helping. Double negative umbra lead with straddled and trailing positive cores, but the positive umbras are small and not in mixing position at all. Last 24 hours of solar wind show a very dense wave in the stream, about 50 to 100 times normal. Took a big whack at the electron flux, but since the speed, plasma temperature, and particle polarity didn't change, our shield is doing just fine. One coronal hole departs on the equator while another top left enters the Earth-facing fourth of the star. A coronal hole stream may be seen in the solar wind as early as tomorrow night. Something to watch today. A sun-diving comet is just now becoming visible this morning. If you can't spot it, check out Lasco for yourself as it will have brightened by the time you get there. Top quake of the day was a stone's throw away from that volcano that began erupting in Mexico. Other top tremors were moderate only and in the western Pacific, north and south. Got this video linked for you below, a meteor caught on dash cam in New Zealand. It's easy to spot the moment of fracture as a bright explosion illuminates the skies. Meanwhile, did we mention that the snow records are being broken, trampled, laughed at? Roofs are coming down. Much of commerce hit a standstill in some areas, and I'll give you two guesses as to whether or not it's over. We'll begin with the temperature delta. Let's see how this happens. Low pressure in central Canada pulling heat northward while high pressure just east of it is driving Arctic air down into the Gulf. Florida has frost and freeze warnings. When we look at the jet stream, we see how tropical heat could slide up into the west while the dip out east lets the colder air slink down. Welcome to these never-ending winter storms. The only note for Europe is this oblong low cresting the Emerald Isle now. The convergence at the eastern side is producing some significant storms, and that's our watch area tonight. Down under, that same low to the north is driving tropical rains onto Australia, but a convergence in the south is also drawing a cloud line across the southern coastline now. Satellite images are in agreement. Got a new addition to the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. in the east, 4.20 a.m. in Arizona. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.